You're on the House Judiciary Committee. Can we do anything about this? Yeah, absolutely. Once we take the majority back, Republicans absolutely can do something about this. But the real question is, is Biden's corrupt DOJ going to do anything against deep state Democrats? I mean, the behavior that this is now uh, making aware to the American people is treasonous. It's all treasonous behavior. Not only the campaign was infiltrated, but the White House, the sitting president of the United States. And it goes deeper than that because they use this Russian dossier that was promulgated by the, the Clinton um, campaign to then get FISA warrants through the FBI to spy on American citizens in the Trump campaign, to then keep this narrative going for years that the Trump campaign colluded and conspired with Russia, what was, which was completely and utterly false. Yeah. And the current national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, said this three weeks before the election in 2016. He said, computer scientists have uncovered a covert server linking the Trump organization to a Russian-based bank. This secret hotline may be the key to unlocking the mystery of Trump's ties to Russia. That's the man who is now the front, uh, the face of President Biden's dealings with Russia. And he is heavily involved in this scandal before the 2016 election. He's got, does he have to go? He absolutely has to go. And that confirms that he had to have been colluding with the Clinton campaign in order to have that information. Because if we now know through the Durham investigation that it was the Clinton campaign that was doing all of this activity and he knew that information uh, back in 2016, then he was colluding with the Clinton campaign right. and conspiring against a legitimately elected president even after he got elected into the White House. That's pretty much the basis of treasonous activity if you ask me and these people should be held criminally liable for the actions that they took against a sitting president i find it incredible that this is an official report from john durham himself and it came out on friday night this is not some fly-by-night source this is durham came out friday night i checked all the way through saturday and sunday and again this morning and i can't find the establishment media covering it can you Thanks. The mainstream media is more concerned about the halftime show yesterday at the Super Bowl and what children are doing for Valentine's Day rather than the real atrocities that are occurring in our country, the immigration crisis at our border, what's happening in the, the fact that a DOJ is surveilling on American citizens and we now have proof that the Clinton campaign did this, what's happening in the Ukraine. The mainstream media doesn't want to talk about any of that because it doesn't fit their narrative. Right. That there are the speculation that Hillary Clinton wants to run for president in 2024. Now that comes as we've got this CNN survey, 51% of Democrats and Democrat leaning independents don't want President Biden to run again. Are the Democrats desperate enough to recruit Hillary Clinton at this point? I, I simply can't believe that. Well, I think they're very desperate because all of Biden poll numbers are horrendous and who else is gonna run? It can't be Kamala because her numbers are worse than Biden's are. So we're going to res the Democrats are going to resurrect Hillary Clinton, despite the fact that her numbers are that bad, but they're a little bit better than Biden may be. So it, it, they just they don't have any real leadership in the Democratic Party. And it shows if they're going to go back to Hillary Clinton, who lost to Trump in 2016. Ad admit it, Congressman, you're having just too much of a good time, aren't you? <laughs> yes, well, you I'm are. <laughs> when we get the majority back and it can hold these people accountable. I worry about the country, and that's a fact. Greg Stubbe, Congressman, thank you for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good to see you.